So when I look at Georgia, there's a couple things that really stand out. One, we had record turnout. We doubled turnout from the 2018 primary on the Republican side. We also saw record turnout with African-American, Hispanic, and Asian voters on the GOP side. That bodes really well heading into November. Um, I think that too much is being made about endorsements in Georgia when the overriding figure in this primary was Stacey Abrams, uh, a gubernatorial candidate who just said Georgia's the worst state to live in. I think Republicans looked at Kemp as somebody who's beaten her before and thought he would be the best as the incumbent governor to take her on. Uh, I say this often. I talk to Georgians all the time. They love President Trump but they want to beat Stacey Abram, and they didn't view it as an either or. They thought Kemp was the best person to do that. They obviously supported President Trump's endorsement of Herschel Walker, who won overwhelmingly. And we've seen that across the country with his endorsements, how powerful they've been. Can Herschel Walker win in a general? He can. Absolutely he can. There's polling that already has him up. He is incredibly likable. He is somebody who's a hometown hero. But he also is focusing on bringing people together and focusing on Georgians and their issues. And what we've seen from Democrats like Warnock is a doubling down on division. We're seeing it right now. Everything they do is about dividing our country, um, dividing us, uh, creating anger, creating fear. And I think Herschel is a very uplifting, optimistic candidate who really can win in November.